name is Grace and today I am going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is A Roaring Rescue Daniel and the Lions Dead. Daniel 1 chapter 1 to 1 to 4 and chapter 6. Let's read. Maybe one person has gone into the Dalian's dead. God's people disobeyed him, so he led their enemies to take them to into capital. They destroyed Jerusalem and carried away many <coughs> of Jewish to their own country, Babylon. So God's people disobeyed God. So God led the enemies to take them over. And Jerusalem was destroyed and many of Jewish people Jerusalem and carry many of the Jewish into their own country so like they made them a slave and and they take many things from Jerusalem Daniel was one of the Jewish in Babylon. He trusted God and prayed to him three times a day. God blessed Daniel and he became a powerful leader in that country. So Daniel was very he was from Jew he's Jewish and Daniel prayed to God three times a day and Daniel loved God so God blessed Daniel and Daniel became a powerful leader I think there, the three wise men is jealous at Daniel. We have found the Bible gem. Some leaders were jealous of Daniel, so they made a new rule. People could only pray to King Jerus. Whoever disobeyed would be thrown into the lion's death. Jerus agreed. So some leaders were very jealous of Daniel, so they made a new rule that only the people can worship and pray to King Darius. Otherwise, they will throw into the lion's death. Question. God believed Daniel and made a blessed Daniel and made him a powerful leader in Babylon. True. Daniel still prayed to God and was arrested. Doris was sad. He liked Daniel. He realized he had been tricked, but couldn't change the new rule. They, Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. So Daniel knew the new rule, but still Daniel prayed to God. And he was arrested. arrested. 
Juras was very sad because Juras liked Daniel and he knew that he was tricked by the three wise men who were jealous of Daniel. So, but he couldn't change the new rule because, like, it's not good thing to change so and it just like a rule to king that you must not change the rules so fast and like that yeah so then you um, thrown into the lion's that Oh, we have found the Bible Dam. <laughs> the lions roared and crept up to Daniel. Then an angel arrived. It was God who sent him. The angel shut the lion's mouth. Daniel spent the night there unharmed. It. So Daniel wasn't the has thrown into the lion's death and the lion creeped to Daniel and suddenly an angel appeared and shut the lion's mouth and Daniel Spent the night there on her. It's actually then really <laughs> there's the <no> cute <laughs> there's a <no> cute <laughs> question. Was Daniel arrested and threw into the lion's death because he prayed to God? True. Because King Doris make that as a rule. At daybreak, Doris went to see if Daniel was alive. God sent me an angel to save me, Daniel said. The king was drilled. Daniel was pulled out from the den. So King Doris couldn't eat anything or drink and he also could not sleep well because Daniel was in the lion's bed. At the daybreak, like, he ran to Daniel and checked if Daniel was alive or not. And Daniel was alive. So, like, Daniel was pulled out from the bed. Wow, he's great. <laughs> and let's see what happened to the three, that three wise men. The king Doris had Daniel's enemies thrown into the lions that the, the lions gobbled them up. King Doris told everyone in his kingdom to honor Daniel's powerful living God. So, Daniel, those enemies, the other wise men, strong into the lion's dead. And King Doris said, like, they should believe the one true God. Who, who Daniel is believing. When Daniel was thrown into the lion's death, God's angel protect him from what kind of animal? Number three, the lions, right? 
Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy it? And next time, I'll read another good story. Then let's see you next time. Bye!